Hey there, in this video we are going to look at fractions and specifically what we call mixed numbers. So a mixed number is a number that is comprised of a whole number and a fraction. So for example, four and two thirds is considered a mixed number and it actually means four plus two thirds if I were to separate it as an operation between the four and the fraction and um, the whole number and the fraction. So four plus two thirds is the same as four and two thirds, which is the mixed number. It is more commonly written without the plus sign, but that is what that means. So going along with mixed numbers, we often rewrite mixed numbers as improper fractions. An improper fraction is just a fraction where the top number is larger than the bottom number. So typically when we think about a fraction, we think of something like three fourths or one fifth or um, two sevenths or something like that where the top number is smaller than the bottom number it's a part on top and a whole on bottom an improper fraction is where we have a bigger number on top and a smaller number on bottom a mixed number remember is where we have a whole number and then we have a fraction with that whole number. So for example, we sell four and two thirds, that would be a mixed number. An example of an improper fraction would some, be something like 11 thirds or um, 14 ninths or something like that, where the top number is larger than the bottom number. So to rewrite a mixed number as an improper fraction, we will need to combine the whole number and the fraction into a single fraction. So to do this, you will multiply the denominator of the fraction by the whole number and add that product to the numerator of the fraction part. So we're going to convert the following mixed numbers to improper fractions. So for example here, four times three, that gives us 12. So again, when we do four, the whole number in front multiplied by the denominator, we get 12. And then we're going to add the numerator two. So we're going to add that two and we get 14. That is going to be your new numerator, which means your new top number. So when we're rewriting four and two thirds as an improper fraction, the numerator is going to become 14. The denominator is going to stay exactly what the denominator was before, that three. So 14 over three is the same as four and two thirds. Now for eight and three fifths, same thing. We're gonna take the whole number and multiply by the denominator. So eight times five, 8 times 5 gives us 40, and then we will add in that numerator of the fraction, which would be 3. So we add there 40 plus 3, which gives us 43 as our new numerator. So we're going to have 43 over 5 as our improper fraction that represents 8 and 3 fifths. So now we are going to talk about improper fractions and how we change improper fractions to mixed numbers. So to convert from an improper fraction to a mixed number, we'll count how many times the denominator is contained within the numerator, or how many times it can go into the numerator, and that is your whole part. And then the remainder is the numerator of the fraction part. The denominator will stay the, stay the same in this process and does not change. So we have 17 over 4. And with 17 over 4, 17 is not directly divisible by 4. But if you think about a number line, think about 17 and work your way down from there to the next whole number. That would be 16 and then 15, so on and so on. So if you look at 16, 16 is divisible by 4. 16 divided by 4 gives us 4. So that is going to be our whole part. But if we only looked at 16 fourths instead of 17 fourths, we still have another 1 fourth. So the remaining part, the remainder, which is one, because again, out of this original 17, we had 16 pieces were pulled over here to divide by four to get the whole number. And then with 17, we were left with one when we pulled out those 16. So one fourth is our fraction, always going to be over the same denominator that it originally started with, which is four. And so that would be four and one fourth as our Mix number four seventeen fourths. Now moving on to 22 over 9. So again, 22 over 9 is not directly divisible. Um, 22 is not directly divisible by 9. So if you think about working backwards, if I have 22, work backwards to 21. 21 is not divisible by 9. So we move backwards again. 20 is not divisible by 9. 
Then we have 19, which is not divisible by 9. And then we have 18, which is divisible by 9. So we can do 18 divided by 9. 18 divided by 9 is 2, so that's going to give us the whole number. Now, if you look at 22 and we think about using 18 of the 22 to divide by 9 and get the whole number, the remaining part is going to be our fraction over 9. So again, if we started with 22, we used 18, we're subtracting here. You can use the long subtraction method or you can think about counting up from 18. So we're counting backwards from 22. We will go up 1, 2, 3, 4, or back 4 to get from 18 to 22 or 22 to 18. So we used 18 to divide by 9 here. So the remaining part is going to be um, 22 minus 18, which is 4. And so 2 and 4 ninths would be our mixed number here. So again, just as a quick summary, a mixed number, remember, is a whole and then a fraction with that whole. So for example, that could be four and two thirds, which really means um, four plus two thirds or four wholes and two thirds. Now, remember to convert from a mixed number to an improper fraction, we start with this whole number of eight and multiply it by two. And then once we do that, eight times two is 16, we add one, and that's going to be that 17. And remember, the denominator stays the same. So that's the process to go from mixed number to improper fraction. Now, to go from improper fraction to mixed number, we think about, for example, if we started with 17 over 2, work backwards from that top number to the next whole number. Is it divisible by the denominator? 16 is divisible by 2. 16 divided by 2 is going to be the whole number 8. And then remember, if we started out with 17 halves and we use 16 of those to get our whole number 8, we still have 1 remaining from 17 minus 16, which gives us 1 half, 1 over the original denominator. And so 8 and 1 half is our uh, mixed number, if this were the example we were looking at. So that's just a quick reminder of those procedures uh, for going from mixed number to improper fraction or vice versa.